Hi everyone, and welcome to the Best Life Now with uh, me, Espen, and our beautiful, beautiful Best Life leader, Jen. Hi everybody. So good to be here again every Tuesday, every Thursday, every, every Saturday when we have those uh, conversations. It's always so ex much expansion, and it always feels so good to expanding out what we've been from the Abraham now, what she been, uh, you know. Uh, speaking out from from her alignment uh, and uh, it feels always so good and there was so much goodness uh, today so many things uh, i would say the, the one thing was about uh, that i like was about the forgiveness and she said we, we should use another word for that and it's like it's called the impossible <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> i just love that because like you know, if if I'm gonna use the time to forgive, you know, then you have there will always be more to forgive. But it's like your point of attraction. Where do you want to focus? You know, instead find your alignment, and then there is nothing to forgive for, because source never looks back. Source never look, go back and undo anything that you've been that's already been happening. So what already happening? Can I let that what has already been happening to be? Not putting my attention on it because that's the table, the things on the table when you're having your focus. We talk about we can i can take it in a new way you see they have the past you have the present you have the future and all these things are on the table and here you are choosing what you want to 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 put your focus and attention on right now and in this table there is from the past present and the future so you can choose pick whatever you want to you can choose in the unwanted or the one that or we say in the feel good of it or feel bad but it's like uh, I love that impossible because uh, you know forgiveness. She that was changed now for me for, and I was just like, yeah, right. There was so much things there, like you know, uh, you know, pray from from alignment. You talk about that too. Also, when you not forgive in when you pray for, you know, be in the appreciation more, be in the receiving more, be in the alignment and appreciate for that person. Then the energy comes through. You know, it's only resistant that that not give you what you want that's the only thing when you are desiring for something are you desiring from from uh, from your alignment are you lining up with your energy first and then taking action are you lining up with your desire and feeling good about it right now and then taking action that's like the, that's the calibration also you know you know you know when the feeling and if it doesn't feel good right in the moment when you're thinking about it you know then pick something else you know you having you don't have to pick the sticks of, of nothing of something that doesn't feel good you know then you can take another route until you reach a good feeling space and then if you're coming back again after then it, it will be easier to have that desire but it's like line up with the energy of what you're desiring for first and then go for oh. go for it more well, enjoy the process you know it's more you know that's no resistance it's just not, that's that's when you're feeling the joy and fun of what you're doing you know you live happily ever after and feeling unconditional love and appreciation toward where you're going and then uh, and that's from within you know that's the pure low source energy from within always supporting uplifting all of who we are so line up with the physical your consciousness into the energy of the non-physical into the pureness more and more be a vibration match to your energy of who you really are and then do whatever what you want or because that will help you on the way it will help it will give you the road on the way you will get the impulses and your guidance so there were so many good things so many good things i'm just saying wow oh i so agree I so agree. It was such a wonderful program now today. And I love what you shared. It's so true. Forgiveness is impossible. And I love the way they did it because they pondered about it and they looked and they were like, impossible, right? You can't be looking at something in a space of a problem and get to the solution, right? You can't look at something like that. And, and, um, I loved how they said, instead of looking for forgiveness, look for the love, flow forward into the love. And because it is true that source, God, your inner being has never forgiven anyone because they've never condemned them or held anything against you or anyone in the first place. 
everything in this universe is in motion forward. Everything is building upon what has preceded it, right? It doesn't regret what has preceded it. To say you have to go back and forgive something as though you regret something. No, you're flowing forward into the new opportunity, the new awareness, the new clarity, the new knowingness that that has opened up for you, right? It's such a beautiful, releasing, aligning, loving way to go about things. It is the way of the universe. It's an alignment with all that is, right? Look at nature. There's nothing in nature. A tree doesn't regret that it was a seed. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't go, I'm sorry I was a seed. No, it just flows forward and grows into that tree, right? And that ultimately, you know, produces uh, its own seeds or fruit or whatever it does, right? And it flows forward even into the place when it flows forward into its place of decay, ultimately at a place in time, right? Everything is in motion forward. Nothing in this universe is going away right? There is nothing regrettable that has happened here globally, universally, personally, right? Uh, nothing. It's all in motion forward. And when we just align with that, because all that has preceded us has served us so well, if we allow it to, but if we try to go back to something and fix it, going back to it, no, allow yourself to flow forward yes and you can bring that into a space of more right that doesn't mean that maybe you didn't have an argument with somebody maybe you did but flow forward feeling your alignment your love finding the love in the other person you'll see the enhancement from that the clarity that that has opened up the beautiful improvement right there will be beautifulness that comes from that unless you're trying to go back right or you know you're regret of anything um, is always going to feel bad and it should it should it should feel bad to go and revisit painful things um, or things you've hung on to that should always feel bad and be appreciative of the fact that it does it's letting you know that you are pulling far away from who you really are your inner being is pure love and light. Look for the love. Flow forward in that space of becoming. Feel the beautiful relief. Feel the appreciation. And I love too, Espen, how you touched on prayer. The, the beautiful prayer, the way that we pray is by appreciating. It's by appreciating in the moment. Appreciating our becoming. Appreciating that which we have already vibrationally asked for that right just appreciating appreciating that's all very forward flow there's no tie to anything but there is an appreciation of where we've come from right we can appreciate all that has preceded us and we don't need to dig into it we just know that we're here because we were once there and um you can't undo that you know, but there's everything to flow forward to. And um, such beautiful ease, right? And to recognize um, if this is a new concept to you, if this feels different to you, be easy about it. Be gentle with yourself in this place. Be light, um, you know, as you flow forward. But know this. For each of us, our cork, who we really are, naturally floats. You don't have to effort that. You don't have to try at that, right? It's just aligning with who you really are, aligning with the forward flow of the universe. And who we really are, each of us, is pure love and light at the core of who we are. And every person, every being, every particle, every cell in this universe is based in that same. All of it is. So just allow, right? Just focus upon yourself, right? Focus upon yourself. Allow yourself to be who you really are. And be easy about that. And know if you've carried beliefs or thoughts or things that are not a match to that, they're going to come to you. Acknowledge them as they come. You 
thought of judgment are no longer a match to who I am now. But I'm so appreciative that you come to me in this moment so that I can calibrate you to match who I really am. Oh, and you'll feel that alignment of energy. You'll feel your becoming in that space. And it feels so good to really deliberately flow forward in pure love and light and also appreciate the negative emotion, the awareness as it comes. Not to dig into it, but instead to acknowledge it and to bring it forward to match the vibration of who you are now. That is really deliberately creating in this universe. This is why we came. We came to line up our energy. We came to line up with joy. We came to line up with love and um, to do it on purpose, to do it delightfully and to do it oh, in such a magnificent way. Yeah, so expansions on that, Espen, so many good things. It is, yeah. Yeah, I like that part when you say, Jeremy, it's like, you know, be easy about it, be gentle with yourself. You know, don't know this yet. It's, it's no rush or push against anything. It's calibration. And something I also love, uh, you know, there is no comparing with each other. There is no competition in this. Let us, let us tell or know that there is no competition. It's only the energy of what I feel from the end. Yes. And to lining up with the energy from what I'm desiring for. And I love she's talk about the enlightening process as well, because you know, people who are feeling negative emotion and then realize it, you catch it early and or catch it, and then you're like, Oh, you're aware of this emotion, and you lead to feeling a little bit better. Then you're enlightening. Mm -hmm. You're enlightened, you know. And 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 it's enlightening is a word for just like to know your feelings. It's like you you know your feelings, you are well aware of your, how you feel it. That's the way of enlightening that. Oh, I well know what I feel. And, and you improve the feelings and you well know that you can improve your feelings. It's enlightening. It's like uh, feeling good and better and better. And that you all know that you have the ability to do that. Any moment, any time. That is enlightenment. You know? That's like a freedom feeling. Just like, I can always feel a little bit better. I can always be in the space of feeling good and better and better. And I also can be easy and gentle as I'm moving toward feeling better and better. I can enjoy this journey now and, and those things that comes to me. I can appreciate in my life. I can appreciate who I really am unconditionally. I can appreciate myself and I can appreciate others. And I know when I'm feeling unconditional appreciation and unconditional love to more myself and I feel that feeling, I know that I feel it in others too. So I know everything is going everything taking place from what i feel from inside so when i'm lining up with the pure law source energy then i'm lining up with the pure law source energy in everyone and in, in everything and in all that it made us my desires as well because i'm very very clear about my my direction or my focus my energy you know so it's like an easy process to ease up that you know it's a calibration it's a practice you know there's a lot of beautiful processes again i would mention asking is given such a wonderful book to go through, you know, it's um, yeah. it's amazing because you you're learning the process, you're learning actually you're learning to practice your vibration, you know, and it's like it's not about to practice something outside of yourself so you can feel good inside of yourself. It's to really practice what's going on from within myself and how can I direct the feelings to feeling a little bit better. When you're getting a ma a master, but when you're getting more deliberate about that and feeling good and better and better and better, you will feel inspired to do more. And you will know well who you really are and why, why you came forth here into this um, world in uh, through this non-physical you in this physical body and now expanding these two pieces together and synchronizes them and then expanding it out and feeling it sensing it observing you know taking action inspired action feeling the passion of an enthusiasm all of these good feelings that yes. that is in the and it's just like so wonderful because practice vibration, practice the process of the be deliberate, the, of your deliberate creation of your own life experience. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it's always like 
for every, each and every one. You know, we can still, whatever condition, you can be in the most bad condition ever, but still there is an ability to find a way through to feel a little bit better. And when you do, you will well know uh, the next experience, the next experience, how things can turn out and how good it can work out and how things can cooperate when you are feeling your alignment and then moving on to the next, how things starting to shift and change. But it's your perceiving of the world that changes because you, when your vibration comes to an alignment, the whole world feels like an alignment. Everything you physical see, physical sense feels equal the same from within. Yes. Oh, I love everything you share. And Espen, I'm so appreciative that you have gone through the book, asking it is given with all 22 processes. And you just did process number 22 today. All of them are so magnificent. Not so you can get really busy and do all 22 at one time. So you can feel your way through those processes. You know what resonates with you. You know what, uh, you know, lines up with you. But so beneficial to, you know, really, and especially today's process, it was the most deliberate about taking somebody from a space of, really being in a negative space, some pretty heavy negative emotion and gently shifting that emotion and allowing, allowing that to come into a space of improvement and then shifting again into a space of improvement and being gentle with it. And um, I loved uh, one of the recent Abraham quotes because they said in that quote, and it's so true, you could have 10 diseases in your body and and in a very short order of time, have no evidence of any of them, right? Because it is all vibrational, right? And that doesn't mean it's like, woo, doing some woo-woo thing, right? No, it's by acknowledging where you're at and gently deciding, right, what it is you're what it is you desire, right? Lining yourself up with it. And then as resistant thoughts come to you, right, that don't match, acknowledge those and calibrate them to match your belief, right? To match your desire, calibrate them to, to more who you really are, right? And, and don't be annoyed that these things are coming to you. Acknowledge them right? And allow yourself to come into your space of improvement. And this holds true for everything. It's not just physical ailments. It's everything. I loved the final segment today when they talked about um, a person coming out of the closet, right? And in this specific example, they were talking about coming out of the closet to ex expand or share their news or their sexual orientation but it doesn't have to be this right this just happened to be the example you know and it's knowing don't push yourself out of the closet don't do it for something outside of you you know when you're ready to come out of the closet when you are able to love them anyway right? You are able to be who you really are, your vibration of love, and you're able to love them whether they love you or not, whether they love you back or not, because it isn't about them. And you know, right? This is the same thing with our vibration always. Give yourself to calibrate time to line up with your desire, enough time to let go of those resistant thoughts, those things that are mismatches. And you'll know, right, when you are ready, right, to, to flow forward into action it's in your business or a relationship or into that next step or to sharing it out because you'll do it from a space of such certainty. Uh, you know, knowing who you are, knowing what your business is, knowing what your relationship is or your idea, whatever it is, that you will love them anyway. You will love them regardless of whether they love you back. You'll love them regardless if they love your idea or not, right? Then you know. You know you're ready. And trying to do that, put it out there prior to that, is going to give you a mixed bag of results, right? It's going to give you wobbles. It's, you know, right? It, it, because it is always us coming into the alignment with 
who we really are, calibrating to our desires, in giving ourselves time, being gentle with ourselves, and appreciating the negative, um, misaligned thoughts or beliefs or things that come to us as we're lining up, not because it's saying, don't do it. It's saying, here we are, we're a mismatch. Would you like us to come join you? Here, Cal you know, calibrate us, shift us, acknowledge us, acknowledge this mismatch of who you are in this moment and acknowledge it from a place of love. Because one thing I've, uh, you know, really come to understand, and this may be soothing to you, everything you've done in your life, every decision you make, every argument you've been in, everything, doesn't matter what it is, everything you, you've done, at the moment you did it, you did it because you felt for you that it would be an improvement. It, you felt that it was going to allow you to feel better. So, for example, if you chose to rob a bank, right, you know, maybe whether you went through it or not, in the moment you decided to do that, you felt that this was going to give you an improvement. Now, right now, you could say, I regret doing that, right, if you did it, just making it up, right? But here's the thing. Regret is not going to help you right, in this moment. But lining up with knowing I made that decision because to me, I thought it was going to be an improvement. I thought it was going to give me the opportunity to enhance my life in some way, to increase something that I had, right? Or the uh, situation that I was in. And then calibrate forward, knowing, you know, I've always done things, um, knowing that they, you know, will bring improvement to me, right? And be gentle with yourself. Find the love as you flow forward. Yeah, I didn't even skip a beat. That's it. Find the love as you flow forward. Find that. Be easy. That. Right? We shifted sides. Yes, we did. <laughs> it's good, right? It's and fun. We do. Exactly. Because life is like that. Life is going to give you things as you flow, right? Yeah, I had a decision when I saw the screen. I saw you go out. I could have paused and made a big ta-da about it, or but I kept going. I kept flowing. I knew you were coming back, and even if you weren't, it was okay, right? Everything is okay. Everything is becoming, and you just came right back in perfectly, beautifully, and now we're on opposite sides, magnificently, just right. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, so yeah. expansion, that's good. Yeah, it feels good to be here on the right side. They're <laughs> 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 uh, just joking with that. But it's so fun, you know, because the, um, it's really, you know, I love something also that Abraham shared, which was about if it wouldn't be contrast, if it wouldn't be no negative, then there will nothing of this what we see now or physical sense would exist because you have to have those things for expansion and it's so good to know it's like right away it's just taking not say the burden but it's lifting the energy of the alignment of all of this even more what that's what i feel it's sort of like you know it's really alignment everything you know i would like i will either more you know change the negative to something else because it is not negative in human stream of consciousness it is in the not being in alignment then it's something that's not not something you know but from who we really are it, it is just everything is alignment everything's an expansion everything is variety everything is differences that everything is in in expansion everything new that comes from an experience that's that's I didn't expect it. It's it's already expanded from from the energy of uh, the alignment of it. So it feels so good to just to to be aware, you know, of the direction we're moving toward. You know, it's like you know, this is yeah. a, you know, I'm living. I'm here for living, for having fun. I'm here for living a joyful life. I know that now more than ever, and I know it's like, like you. I can you know, it's to be easy about it, be gentle about it. Like you said, then it's an easy, gentle process. There is no rush. I need to have this now. I need to do this now. It's like feel good now and line up the energy now. And then it's like, 
you can just feel how easy it is just to breathe and then moving on to the next. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, that is a good idea. Oh, that is like things. So for myself, you know, when I, you know, now when I'm taking action, I feel inspired. And then, you know, I see the most beautiful view when I'm walking. I was walking to a place and, and watching, you know, and, and, and I know I, we talked to, to, together and took some pictures. And, and it's just so wonderful. Just like, and I see that clear, clear mountains, you know, it was so beautiful. And then and listening to, to you and Jules and, and, uh, and with uh, Lee, and it was so wonderful, you know, just to, 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 to walk and see, feel the beautiful weather. It was calm, quiet, and, and everything was just unfolding so easy. And then I remember I was uh, taking a nap yeah, at the top of, of a place in, in my, my home. And, I just did, and then I just like felt, oh, no, I had to go. You know, it felt good. And then I had a friend of mine who was uh, on the television, and he was like, oh, we're going to be on. And in that time, and I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't, and I, when I was walking, I remember. And then when I was go, coming to this place where the road started again, the bus was there. And I was just like, oh, there's the bus. And I'm just going into the bus and just like asking, can I, uh, you know, is this to, to sit, you know, to come, to go with the bus? And he said, yeah, and I got it for free as well. And, and I got the bus around. I got the time to see my friend on my television and, and everything was just going so smoothly, you know, that, that, you know, everything from that day, from speaking, I have a conversation with people. And also I've been segment intending with that energy, you know, and feeling it before it happening. So I like, I know everything is vibrationally. That's uh, the first thing, knowing that everything is vibrationally. You know, when we, when we are feeling different about something, when we changing or it's not changing, but when we are feeling more and more better and better in, in something, we have a new point of attraction of that. That will not be the same experience. That will change. And then it will expand because also when you feel more of that what you desire, the belief will be stronger and it you say belief, but you feel feel good, feel goodness, feelings will be feeling better in that. So it will be enhancing and expanding more. So you will enjoy it more in say in another way. So instead of belief you know you can change any every, everything you know <laughs> so it's just a feeling you're feeling so good and then you just follow it up you follow your place you follow that up it feels so good and then lining up vibrationally more and more is practice vibration practice energy practice from within practice energy practice vibration you know that's what it is about you know practice the vibration toward what you desire feel that becoming and enjoy the road as you go toward as you move in the direction to all what you want yeah oh it's yeah. so beautiful that was so inspiring aspen when you were just you were out on this lovely walk it was so beautiful you were sharing and um how you found money you found money like out in the middle of nowhere right and then um no, that's, right? Yeah. right yeah it's beautiful right it was it's like the universe is saying we know what you want here it is right here it is we're always providing for you then you had a wonderful uh, matches you were just guided to take with you before you left which gave you the opportunity to light a fire because it's cold where you are still right in and northern Norway and there was just the perfect place for you to do this so you had time to rest and warm yourself and then uh, you know as you're you know going back and then you you your inner being right you can say you remember but your inner being says hmm, remember your friend and then you think oh yeah but i'm two hours away from home and it's it's 55 minutes till the broadcast and then i think you said you reached out to a friend who didn't a answer and then of course the bus the bus is there right and you get back in plenty of time you know five or ten minutes before and and right because everything is working out for us when we're not resisting when we are yeah. allowing but here's what will stop that from coming in espen if you would have been in such a state of worry if you would have been like i'm really 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 worried that i'm not going to get back from my friend i'm really 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 worried you wouldn't those things would have not been available to you and this is something for us to be aware of in our own life you were such in a good feeling space 
such in a spirit of alignment. It was easy for you to see money that, you know, where did that come from? Here it is. It's right? so funny because I'm saying, and, and then recently, that's what the process from 22, and it's it not been so long out. You know, I've done this for maybe for 18, 19 days playing the yeah. prosperity game. And then yeah. money started coming like that, just like, like, and circumstances changes. And I have, you know, I could tell more story from today, uh, the conversation, you know, and, and then it's just like, oh, we, you can do go this way. And this conversation with this person who's helping to get back to work again, you know, such a wonderful, you know, openness and, 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 and free feeling of, you know, sharing to, you know, to, it's so easy, so gentle, you know, no push, nothing. I just I feel like, you know, this is exactly what I was asking for. You know, yeah. And I felt it vibrationally and it would turn out right in that way. And yeah. then more opportunities for, for what I could do in my works, in other many options. And yeah. then new ideas come to me as I'm after finish the call. And my, I get receiving from ideas and impulses that, oh, that's the direction I could go. Oh, that's something. Then, then this energy line up. It's like, oh, that is fun. And I felt no resistance to what what was coming in my receiving of that feel, good feeling thoughts. So it's just like you know, that's the like follow your blessing when you get the impulses. You know the next step, and you get the idea of what the next step will be, and you then taking inspired action, and then it's just follow up more oh you're going this way you know you're feeling good about this you're taking action on this we're going to give you more expansion in this. it's always like that it's always going to be like that when you line up with the energy of your desire and you're feeling good good at before you start taking the action it will expand it out and becomes more you know it's and it's natural for us it's natural for us to 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 let the cork float it's natural for us to be in a vibrational uh, arising energy more and more you know that vibration arises more and more you know Abraham said it, you don't have to hold the cork under the water when you let the cork uh, you know let go of that cork then it's natural for the energy to arise more and more yeah. you know so that's the you know that's the process with the appreciation the second intending you're more deliberate about it but then now you're not thinking about so much about that you need to do but you feel good about it you know this an inspiration comes from you feel good about appreciating life and a feeling appreciation for yourself and for all that is and you feel good about how those experiences you appreciate you feel good about segment and telling and feeling the feelings before you do something for before that happened and lining up with the energy and then understanding that you know when you're lining up with the energy of what you ask for and you and you feel good about it and then it happening then you clearly know your the way you feel is the most important thing to to really be aware of and be easy about it you know it's also to be gentle about it to be gentle to to be easy with yourself you know that it's like uh, nothing pushing against you source never push against me you can say it to yourself source never look back source never undo anything source are always in alignment with who i am and and, and feeling good toward everything that i'm when I'm there, you know, moving in the in the in the perspective of soul, when I'm getting tuned in, everything lines up for me, and it's it's, it's the most loving, supporting energy that is, and it, and it that is the most po most important relationship I have, and when I have the most beautiful relation the relationship with my inner being, every relationship with everyone with everything will line up more and more, and I know I will not picking those things that I. Uh, well, not wanted and then it will be natural for me to pick in those things that is wanted because I am in alignment I'm not looking at at misalignment experience I'm looking at alignment experience so I'm lining up with that alignment experience I want and I desire for and I mean and then you know you see because we're not pushing against anything we don't try to avoid because everything is connected everything's collective positive negative it's it's these are good Good things we it's it's our uh, guidance we know when oh this is just feels this feels better you know and then it would be more and more and i know also you know it's not for me to be 100 percent of the time in in alignment because contrast is, is the good thing yeah i know it's it's just giving me more uh choices and be more deliberate at what i want so it's it's not bad when i'm having um you know like you say a negative experience or a negative feeling it's just expanding more from the inner beingness perspective of what I want from that experience. You know, I'm just—it's just more clarifying. 
So it seems so good to just like, you know, letting myself to just oh, relax and all this. No, there is no rush or push. There is just like, just for me to line up with the energy of who I am. And then things unfold easy for me, you know. And easier it gets, easier it gets, and better it feels, better it gets. And there is this beautiful momentum. Yes. And that's always sad. Uh, yeah. I'll be able oh. for us to stick in it. Oh, I love yeah. it, Espen. It's so beautiful. And I. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course. I love what you shared because it really is all about, um, you know, us appreciating right and being deliberate segment intending as we flow forward right this helps us strengthen our alignment and our vibration right and then as we're flowing forward now right define what you want you know kind of make it general make it more in a feeling place especially when you're starting being easy about things be easy and then as you're flowing right when you notice a belief or a thought that comes, a doubt, a wonder, a bit of a worry, anything that doesn't match, instead of getting all kind of really drawn into it, just acknowledge and go, hey, wait a minute, that worry, okay, I'm worrying right now, but that doesn't really match my desire. This doesn't match my de my decision of who I am, right? And then just bridge it, bridge it forward, you know, Worrying is really focusing on what I don't want. And I am very good at focusing. And, you know, I know it will feel even better to bring this beautiful focus into alignment with what I do want. This is very good. Right? And just, right, do that as many times. You're going to be doing it continually throughout your life. And when you welcome the ability to take thoughts or beliefs or worries or negative vibrations that aren't matching who you really are and taking that time to acknowledge them and bring them forward all the meanwhile being deliberate and doing some you know appreciating and segment intending right life oh you'll find just such a wonderful delight in your life experience you'll see things happening just like you shared aspen money shows up you just happened to know to take matches with. And there was a perfect place to light a fire. And then when you thought, oh, I'd like to be back to watch my my friend on TV. Well, of course, there was a bus. Now, this is, you know, right, that would get you back just in the right amount of time so that it could be an easy, perfect process. Because things are always available to us. But if you are resisting them, it's as if they're not there. Though these kinds of opportunities, these things are always there. But we have to acknowledge, like if Espen was worried about getting back, right? He has to acknowledge, wait, does worry match my vibration? Does that feel good? Actually, it doesn't. It's okay that it's good that I'm aware of this. But I'm just going to, you know, take this wonderful focus and I'm going to shift it on feeling good about my friend being on TV, right? Right, and just flow it in that way gently. You don't have to push it. You don't have to push your cork up. It's automatically gonna float. Your vibration automatically wants to rise, but we have to be deliberate. And if we're trying to push away, right? This would, this would be not what to do. I'm feeling worried. No, 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 I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Cancel, cancel, worry. No, that's not going to push it away. <laughs> you have to acknowledge no. it, right? This is good. This is telling me something I need to know, right? And then bridge it forward and just be open to doing that again and again and again. It will work for all areas of your life. Start easy. Be gentle with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I forgot to shift that vibration. That's okay, because I'm here to have fun. I'm here to be easy about things. Remember, everything is in motion forward. There's nothing to go back to. You don't have to go, well, I need to go back and begin again. Just begin right where you're at. Just flow from right where you are, you know, because this is where all your, your power is. Your ability to focus is right here.
And life is so beautiful. It always gives us more, more chances for us to become. Yeah. This is so much, Jen, something I also love, you know, because, you know, like Abraham talked about, you know, the COVID-19 and the pandemic and all of these things, you know, and it's like, it, it feels so free to know that, that I can focus on those things that feels good to me. I can focus on those and, and I can feel unconditional love, love to everyone. You know, everyone have their own journey. Everyone do their own thing. You know, everyone attract their own attraction. You know, what they attract, you know, every think and feel and attract whatever they think and feel to themselves. And everyone do it for themselves. I do it for me. You do it for you. You know, they do it for him. You know, everyone do it for, for everyone, you know, for themselves, you know. And it's so nice to know that just like that knowingness that, and to let every let that be not don't i don't try to have to push against anyone it's just for me to be what do i want what do i desire because when i'm moving to a desire and i feel good you know i have my point of attraction i have my direction i'm feeling good through the process i'm enjoying the journey and and finding that uh, feel good feelings and then moving toward that you know more and then it's like and then another design oh it feels so good and it's like oh this is nice but also to know that it's just a playful thing there's many playful things and many things that i'm lining up with again it's a different energy now not not must have this but this is mine this is that i'm aligning up with the things that i that i decide aligning up with this experience aligning up with this experience now 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 the next experience aligning up with the energy of this aligning up with my breathing allow I uh, aligning up with feeling my inner body and feeling the alignment from within, aligning up with the steps I'm taking, aligning up with feeling good as I'm running outside. You know, I'm lining up with the energy when I'm writing, I'm lining up the energy when I'm reading, aligning up the energy when I watch something, you know, aligning up the energy when I do something on the kitchen, making some food, aligning up with this moment, what I, you know, a desire for an experience, what I'm going to do in that experience, aligning with the energy of that before I experience it, you know, aligning with easier and easier also every day, because I'm telling my new story, like easier it gets, easier it gets, and better it feels better it gets, and I feel that energy more and more, and I know it's, it's not like a big jump, but it's like a little, a little, a little bit, a little bit, and it's just improving, 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 it's just like the Abraham talk about the cork, when it's not, under the water it's just expanding and expanding and expanding just like vibrational arises and arises and arises more and more energy feels more from within there's more energy more alignments from within now and more things lining up from the outside just like the, the bus experience just with the money spirit and it's like and all of this process that abraham talked about the 22 it feels so fun it feels so joyful and now i have a totally different experience from that experience from now reading it because before of that before many years ago, and I know I don't have to go back, I was pushing against it, but now I'm aligning up with the energy of it. And now things are lining up what I'm desiring and what I do when I do this process. I feel fun, I feel joyful in this experience. And now things are lining up more like that. So I understand it's all about the vibration. It's all about practice my vibration and feel good now. Right. And uh, yeah, then more to come. Exactly, and more to come. And appreciate all. So, <laughs> Oh, oh. we're all in this together yeah. we're all in this together and appreciate everything <laughs> it is for you right it, everything is for you Sweet. this is such a beautiful life experience and um but hey. you have to be, be easy about it begin by being okay with okay. where you're at right wherever you're yeah. at it's perfect you could be in a really um, very contrastual place, right? But you kind of, you know, begin where you're at. As long as you're pushing against where you're at, you can't really find the improvement, right? You have to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to align up with knowing that however you got yourself in that situation, at the base of all of it, no, it was your desire to feel better. And you felt that it would be an improvement, but whatever it is, and be easy about it as you flow forward. Be gentle. Your cork will float. You will be guided. It's good to feel good, right? And like you said, Espen, there's always, always, always more. More to come. It's the exciting part, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like every day just wake up. 
more to come. Yeah, it's just like starting the day almost like that. It's like more yeah. to come. Feeling that freshness of waking up. Yeah. Uh, or more, so. It's beautiful. Yeah. That was so wonderful too. After because I was awake yeah, all day long and I didn't sleep so much for the day that I was going to sleep and I wake up early and I'm just like you know it's just about aligning up with the energy of feeling good and then those things just unfold. Then I'm just like I fall asleep and I wake up early in the morning just as like ten o'clock in the evening and I'm waking up six in the morning and now I'm going to do the same. After this I'm going to go to sleep and waking up early and it's like. And that's what's really come to understand is it's, it's, it's only that more pushing things against things. That's when I not. That's when I not. I cannot have that experience because if I'm pushing against something I want, and that pushes against myself, that I'm wanting. Yes, exactly. So it's just to warm up with the energy to what I want, to what I want. And I want to feel good. Okay, little if I'm, and slightly improve the feelings. You know, I don't like you. With the process of 22 you know feeling despair or feeling powerlessness you can move up the scale of feeling a little bit better you know anger is better than and powerlessness yes. and then frustration is better than anger and 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 then you're going from positive exploitation is better uh, than frustration and then you're moving up and there's 22 of them there but like i'm just like I was jumping a little bit there and then you're going up to appreciation and then you line up with the energy of that what you desire for and then it must come to you into uh, your experience because now it, you are on the same frequency match of what you desire for so it's just a vibration feeling and words don't teach you know we, words can sound beautiful but if you don't feel good when you sit when you line up with the words of what you desire for then it will not come to but when you're matching up and feeling the vibration rises and coming to that connection with that desire you feel that you feel the goosebumps you feel the aliveness you feel that you know, the eagerness you know you feel the energy or you just like feel you feel the excitement the satisfaction the more. Ah. and then they find up and then it comes to you easily yeah. like, always yeah and yeah. um i love it so so and i hope these broadcasts and um, you know, the different things we're sharing help you to feel your alignment, right? Because that's the most important thing, that you can feel your connection. You can feel your guidance. Because like you just said, Aspen, it's not the words that teach. It's feeling your guidance and having the experiences so you can feel your way forward, right? Everything is in motion forward. And um, know that everything is in its perfect, most beautiful place of becoming. And um, there's nothing to push against. Every time there's a problem, a situation, something unwanted, it is giving you clarity about what you do want. And what you do want is vibrationally created in that moment. But you, each of us, right, have to individually line up with right? So that means as we're lining up with our desire, we have to be willing to acknowledge those things that are mismatches to it and be willing to acknowledge and calibrate them to match our desire. And as we do that, oh, we'll feel that, that beautiful experience um, just working so beautifully in all areas of our life, allowing even more ease and flow. Mm -hmm. So great. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Thanks for everything you share. This is so good. A magnificent, uh, magnificent hour, uh, 40, 50 minutes with you here and listening and so much expansion. And I'm just like, I feel so blessed. It's like every time I feel just more, more and more clarification every day. You know, every every day it's just more and more clarification about the all the all of this, the creation, the deliberate creation and in my own life experience you know how you can line up the energy of, toward what you want and then experience it it's just so much more clear now and it's like i also know that you when you're more aware of, uh, and putting your attention to toward what feels good to you you will not pay attention to those things that doesn't feel good to you so you will not that they will be less and less exactly you know, that, <laughs> so they, they will not have so they, they will be more paying attention to those things that feels good and appreciation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
so well. It's natural. Oh. So. So and it, we all are in this together. We all have the ability to practice our vibration. I would say if a, a good thing to, to really take paying attention to now, like from now and, if, and forward, is like to come into the alignment, but practice the vibration to what you desire. Feel the feelings of it. You know, feel the alignment. Line up with your energy of who you really are. Feel your alignment and then, you know, have yeah. fun. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. Oh, so well said, Aspen. Oh, my gosh. This has been so much fun and um, so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you all for coming. Cool. So amazing. Wonderful. Just so, get better and better. It really does. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Yes, I love you all. Love you all. Thank you.